just to explain it, most kids when they're playing Maple Leaf uh, play all the characters. And uh, when my daughter plays Maple Leaf, uh, she calls it jumping in and she stays herself. And the other person, usually her mom, uh, has to play every character in the scene and she's still Lenny. And she calls it jumping in and that sparked the idea to write a tune using the chords to the classic Lester Leaps In. And so that one's called Lenny Jumps In. Uh, this next one may sound like the Miles Davis classic, All Blues, well it does very much. Uh, but using the power of jazz, which is a very real thing, right, believe it right here, uh, we're gonna turn this into a Beatles tune.
Antonio Carlos Jobim. I'm sure the accent somewhere in that realm. Um, and if you heard another tune in there somewhere at the beginning and the end that you did, it was uh, a Freddie Hubbard, the late trumpeter. It was his tune, a Little Sunflower, that we like to use for an intro and an extra. That's David Peters there on the drums. And that groove is for another tune off the uh, Songs My Daughter Knows album. Uh, it's the one original. I wrote it uh, on the chords. I wrote a new melody on the chords to the tune Summertime, something composers call a contrafact. Uh, not a word you're going to need for over conversation this weekend. Uh, but uh, it was written for Lenny just before she was born in mid-August. And so we named it after her sign. And this is called Little Leo.
the other guy in the group up here. It's always an honor to introduce him. Uh, his resume could knock out a team of oxen. Uh, every time I ask him to play, he says yes, so I keep asking. Uh, that's Steve Lucas on the bass. Uh, the last tune was the theme from the West Wing by W. Snuffy Walden. I think Snuffy is probably something his mother didn't name him. I'm not sure what the W stands for. But that's the theme from the West Wing. 
That's also from songs my daughter knows. And uh, it turned out to be the favorite track with the, uh, the hosts at Jazz FM. Uh, so very kind of them to spin that. And the, other, the next tune is, was the favorite with CBC Radio, it turns out. It was a treat to discover Tim Tamashiro on Tonic was playing it. Uh, it's the tune I used as the soundtrack to the baby videos I'd make for the grandparents to watch. Basically, so there'd be music to drown out me saying, look at the camera, Lenny, 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 look at the camera, <laughs> look at the camera. So I muted that and put this song on it. it Neil Hefty wrote it for uh, Count Basie. He's best known for writing the Batman theme, I'm sure much to his frustration. Uh, but he was uh, Count Basie's go-to guy, and he wrote this. It was on the album Atomic Basie, and this is called Flight of the Foo Birds.
kids to the shows because they just make it so much more fun. And uh, so I thought we should include something for them. Uh, our family is crazy late coming to the Frozen party, uh, but we've been watching it in 15-minute chunks over the course of the week. Just you get to a little slightly apprehensive part, and we've got to take a moment. Uh, I'm hoping we're going to finish it this week. Uh, but we did get as far as that tune, and that's uh, called Do You Want to Build a Snowman? Um, here's a fun groove. rug weaving shop that has, I think at this point, eight rescue cats living in it. Um, last visit, we got to know the owner, finally. Uh, we hadn't really gotten to know her before, but Lenny helped in that regard. Uh, she's uh, Miss Rhonda Rose is now a great friend and I think one of my daughter's favorite people in the world. Uh, during our daily visits to the shop when we were there, uh, she started renaming the cats after characters in the children's book series, The Cat Club. If you know Pickles the Fire Cat, every other cat's named Pickles, and I think it's because of those books. Um, so this is written for the next album, and this because this is called a Louisiana Cat Club.
final tune this afternoon, I want to thank these guys again. David Peters on the drums. <laughs> and Steve Lucas on the bass. I want to also say thank you to Oliver, who uh, actually heard us on Jazz FM uh, with James B. talking about the Naomi Scarrett recital series. And that Naomi's mandate, uh, personal mandate, was very much to have people enjoy the arts and couldn't necessarily otherwise have access to them. The ticket prices comes to mind. And uh, he said he felt very strongly about the same sort of thing. And another way to share the music was to get it out there where people could see it online. And so he's been kind enough to go to a lot of trouble to record a, a multi-camera, multi-microphone shoot. This has been a treat, and I think it's, if you uh, take a postcard, if you want to, aren't already uh, part of our Facebook group online, we'll be posting links to it once it's up and running, and, uh, and you can check it out. Um, so thank you all. Uh, this next tune is my favorite pop song of all time, and it's the first song I played for Lenny after we brought her home from the hospital. Like, I mean, like immediately, like ran to the piano and uh, was waiting for that epiphany in the heavens to open for us to connect over this tune. And she just sat there and drooled on me. Uh, but uh, she stopped drooling since, and now this is one of her favorite songs as well, I think. And it might be the only song in three, four time to have been made famous by a frog. Pretty safe bet.
much.